I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on pairs of lines and bisectors. The question here is find equation of obtuse angle bisector between the lines x plus y minus 6 equals to 0 and 7x minus y plus 4 equals to 0. So let's try to understand the situation. I'll roughly sketch uh, the lines here. So the first line is x plus y equals to 6 you can say. So that will be kind of like this, right, where x and y intercepts will be 6. The other line is, you can say y equals to uh, 7x plus 4. So let's say 4 is somewhere there. So it could be a line which is very steep line. So let's say kind of like this. Okay. When we say obtuse angle bisector, as you can see, these are the two angles which are acute and this one is the obtuse angle. So we are interested in finding this particular bisector, right? So there are always two bisectors. Uh, we are interested in the obtuse angle bisector. That's the kind of issue here. So lines are L1 and uh, L2 given to us. We want to find the bisector, obtuse angle bisector. So we'll use the formula of distance formula uh, from a point so any point here, uh, let's say, let's say any point here, w w should be same distance away. So any point here should be same distance away from both the lines, uh, and that is a perpendicular distance. The formula is very straightforward, so we'll apply uh, that formula straight away. And let's say the point in general is x, y. In that case, the distance of this point P from the first line x plus y minus 6 should be uh, x plus y minus 6 divided by square root of 1 square plus 1 square, which is coefficients of x and y, absolute value. And that should be equal to absolute value of 7x minus y plus 4 divided by square root of 7 square plus minus 1 square, correct? Now, 1 square plus 1 square is 1 plus 1 square root 2. So we get x plus y minus 6 divided by square root 2. That should be equals to 7x minus y plus 4 divided by uh, 7 square is 49, 1 square is is 150. 50 could be written as 5 square root 2, right? 25 times 2 is 50. So that is how we get. Now, inside term could be plus or minus. So that leads to the two bisectors, correct? Now, this could be simplified. So I'm cutting down on a few steps here. Uh, you could do those, correct? And then we'll cross multiply. So we get 5 times x plus y minus 6 equals to plus minus 7x minus y plus 4, right? So the idea of plus minus is that even if this whole equation minus, absolute will make it positive, right? So that is how we get these two equations. And uh, then let's open the brackets. So we have 5x plus 5y minus 30 equals to, let's keep plus minus, uh, Okay, plus minus 7x minus y plus 4. Now, if I'm taking plus, in that case, now let's, we get two equations, right? So, so we get an equation which could be 5x plus 5y minus 30 uh, equals to plus, if I take plus, then all signs remain same. So it's minus 7, or this is, this is y, not 7 okay minus y plus 4 right this is y okay. bringing the terms together we can do so we can take all these terms to the right side for example so we get 0 equals to 7x minus 5x is 2x and uh, when you take this it becomes 6y minus and 34 right plus 34 so that is one equation the second equation we can get by using the the negative term here so we have 5x plus 
plus 5y minus 30 and when we use negative term it could call this as we can do plus 7x minus y plus 4 equals to 0 correct so when you add them up 5 plus 7 you get 12x and this is plus 4y and that becomes minus 26 equals to 0 so we get two equations as expected so we have two equations here now to figure out which one is the acute angle bisector and which one is the obtuse angle bisector sometimes the diagrams do help do help right so you can always make out from the figure itself but there's a formula also so that formula gives you the angle uh, between the bisectors and the line so <laughs> from here we can see that if I consider line L1 and uh, in that case uh, let's say x plus y minus 6 when we say which is the acute angle and which is the obtuse angle we can find tan theta so so the value is let me write down the formula here so we calculate the value of tan theta which should be equal to a1 b2 minus a2 b1 divided by a1 a2 plus b1 b2 right that's the formula which gives us whether it is acute angle or obtuse angle so this value should be if it is greater than one then it's obtuse angle otherwise acute angle <clears throat> now if i consider these two equations let us say and these two these two equations in that case the value of uh, a1 we'll write a1 equals to 1 b1 equals to 1 c1 equals to minus 6 here is that a2 equals to 2 the coefficient right b2 equals to minus 6 and c2 equals to 34 right so we say tan theta equals to a1 b2 so multiply these two right so when you multiply these two you get minus 6 multiply those two you get minus of 2 divided by a1 multiply these two 1 and 2 plus b's right so which is minus 6 and that gives you the value as minus 8 over uh, this is minus 4 and that gives you a value 2 now since this is greater so this is the obtuse angle since tan theta is greater than 1 right so that gives you obtuse angle bisector is it okay so so the answer for us in this particular case is is uh, 2x minus 6y plus 34 equals to 0 is the obtuse angle bisector the other one will be acute angle so you can always test the values using this particular formula also note that you can always reduce this you should actually simplify this equation it is 2x minus 6y plus 34 equals to 0 I could always divide by 2 and write this as x minus 3y plus 17 equals to 0 so in our case the answer will be x minus 3y plus 17 equals to 0 that becomes the obtuse angle bisector for the given two lines i hope that helps feel free to post your comments share my videos and if you like that'd be great thank you and all the best